It's time to carry on with the Cutaway Rock and Roll Club. And in this video, I'd like to model a microphone on a stand. As you can see in the image here, um, we'll do it a little bit different. I'll do a similar kind of bass here, not too much detail coming up. But I think I'm just going to have it come up and have the microphone here instead of the sort of the boom uh, arm here. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to right click, put my 3D cursor about there. I'm going to start building right there. So I'm going to bring in a circle. I'm going to go for, um, hmm, let's see, I'm going to go for 22 vertices. And get the approximate, approximate, approximate size here. Let's make sure I'm global here. I'm going to zoom in. It's a little bit hard to see there, but and start with that. Let's go back into object mode. Shift H. So there's where it would be. Um, let's see. This is going to be the microphone clip. So I'm going to uh, rotate Y90 like that. Zoom in on that. Okay. So I'm going to hit uh, E to extrude come out a ways. I'll have to rescale this, I'm sure. I'm going to look down from the top. And I'm going to select this, 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 and this. I think that'll be good enough. Let's delete those faces. Select it all. I'm going to go E, Alt S, and then a pull to give it some thickness. That's probably okay. I'm going to put on a subdivision surface, but first of all, I'm going to put some edge loops to tighten this out. I'm just going to go here. Mm, I hope that's going to be thick enough. Here and here. Let's try that and see. If we can get away with just the one, like that. I'm going to select that again and set the origin and geometry. Okay, now, the way that I want to do this, and the more I think about it, the more I want, I may want to actually shift C. And I may want to put the origin of the 3D cursor and set the geometry origin just just so it's a little bit easier for me. Okay, I'll actually pull it up like that. I want to bring in a circle again. Possibly go with the 22. Scale it down. Quite small. Look at the vertex. I'm going to rotate X90. And look from the side. I'm going to box select all of these guys and get rid of them. This is going to be somewhat small like that. I'm going to hit E to extrude and I'm going to pull down in the Z like that. And then I'm going to flatten them out this way. SZ0. So I got quads at least. Okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna give it some some thickness. So I'm gonna go E to extrude and it's gonna pull out. And I'll flip my polys. I take this and I'm gonna move it over. that. I don't know if I need to mirror it or I might just copy it. Shift D. I'll center it up after that. The 
it takes a little bit of trial and error, really. Okay, then I'm going to um, shift alt and click that edge, shift alt and click that edge, and control E, bridge edge loops. And then I'm going to look from the bottom. Make sure I flip all my polys. I'm going to look from the bottom. And in face selection, I'm going to grab all these faces. I hit C and I went into paint select. So I got that, and I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to pull down and give this some thickness like this. And then I'm going to come back in here. And I'm going to shift alt to click that edge. And I'm going to choose mesh, uh, faces, grid fill, like that. Okay, so now I have this structure. I'm actually going to rotate this around. Rotate Y 180. And I'm going to center this up as best I can. doesn't matter if it pokes through a little bit because the microphone will be there and it will block that. I think that looks pretty good. Now the subdivision surface. And we'll throw in some edge loops. So we're going to use up a lot of polys here. Necessary. It's a small detail that really probably won't even be seen, really, except from a distance. Let's see how that's looking. There's lots of different microphone clips, so. Now, I will uh, hide that and look from the top. And I can actually delete these top faces here. So, C. Make my paintbrush a bit bigger. I think we can get rid of these top ones. there. Let's now shift A, mesh circle. We'll bring in a circle and we'll make the microphone itself. Uh, rotate Y90. A really basic microphone though. Let's get the approximate size. Where is this thing? Okay, I'm going to extrude forward. I'm going to hit E to extrude in S. E, and make the front of the microphone here like this. E and S, and I'm just going to close this off with grid fill. I can probably go for two though. I'll grab the back of the microphone. Okay. I'll extrude it past. Make another little section here. E and S come in a bit. Maybe not quite as much as that. E will come out a little bit more. Be like one of those wireless microphones. E and S. E, I'm gonna come in this way. I'm not sure that's how we can be seen. E and S, and then we'll grid fill that as well. I'll try to go for two. And we'll see if that works. Let's bevel these sharp edges. Shift Alt and click there, and there, here, and here. And try to bevel them all together. Control B, pull back, put one, just to help with edge loops. And I'm going to put some more edge loops. I'm going to slide one up here. 
I'm going to slag one up here, and I'm sure we'll need a bit more. Let's go ahead and do subdivision surface. A smooth. Possibly I'll want two on this. We'll see. I'm going to bring another edge loop there. And then I'll do that. And yeah, I will do that. I'll just bring one down here. And up. Not right to the end. One in. Not there. Here. Necessary, but like that. All right, I'm gonna go for one more, and that's gonna take care of that. So it will be a lot of polys for the microphone, but that's okay. And if you don't think this is thick enough, we could have made it a bit thicker. Potentially still could, but I'm okay with that, I think. 3D cursor is still right there, so I'm going to go Shift A, and I'm going to bring in just a simple cube. Scale it down. Until it fits inside. Okay, let's scale this in the Z. Like that, and in the X, like that. I'm going to put a bolt inside. I'll grab this face and pull it down. I think I've grabbed the whole thing and I'll pull it down a little bit like this. So it looks, it looks like it can rotate. Okay, we're going to do the stand. Uh, it's going to connect to the stand in just a minute. Uh, in fact, maybe I will bring. I hit shift S, cursor to select it. But then let's bring in a circle. But let's switch this now down to 18. We'll start making the top of the this top of the stand. Well, it's still it's still the clip, but okay, like that, I think. B e and S. I'm gonna close this off. Take this instead of bringing it down. And I think maybe this is a bit too long. So let's take this, scale it the Z a little bit. And this guy, I think I was going to bevel. to tell how big this piece should be but we'll get into that in a bit okay now my friends I want to put a bolt there so I'm just gonna let me bring the cursor right there I'm gonna bring in another cube and scale it side I'm gonna add subdivision surface of two and I'm gonna apply it and I'm gonna come in and I'm also with a W subdivide smooth whether I need it that much or not I'm gonna go into wireframe and vertex and I'm gonna delete that Scale that in a wide and just flatten it out. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go to face selection and C. And I'm going to start selecting, I think, down to there. And the middle, down to there, and there. Yeah, I'll go with that much. I'm going to hit hide inset. And there. <laughs> Do that. 
and it's the small inset. E, and we'll bring it in a bit. Like that. I'm going to scale them flat in the Y. S, Y is 0. And S, just to scale a tiny bit. I'm going to bring maybe just one edge loop down like that. <clears throat> and we're going to see if that's enough. Now I might be able to get away with one subdivision on that. I'm going to go into edit mode and uh, wireframe. And shift alt and click that edge. And I'm going to hit uh, maybe I can just extrude it out the same width because it's not really going to be seen. I'm going to come out to there, E and S, and scale it out a bit. E. I just want to cap it off. I'll go out of wireframe. Maybe it should have been narrower now that if you, now I'm not going to see in there anyhow. So, all right, let's just cap it off and see how how she goes. Let's pull here. And uh, we'll go to the wireframe again and see. We're going to need an edge loop here. I'll need an edge loop there just to give it some support. Let's have a look at this thing here. Okay, just that kind of a thing. Um, now, we'll move it down so it looks like we see it there. And this we can actually move up if we wanted. I suppose it looks like it could swivel on there. It's not going to be seen up close, so we're not really going to get into the mechanics of it too much. We can go ahead and uh, delete those faces. And uh, we could also get rid of that face. Okay, so that would be the basic. Now I may have to move it down if I, when I rotate this mic a little bit. So, yeah, let's give it a try now. So, this part I'm going to bevel. Actually, this part I'll start bringing in the ENS. I'll do that first, and then I'll bevel these. And let's shift alt and click there, and add that modifier. Let's see. from a distance really it's fine but we can throw in a couple edge loops just to make it uh, just to tame it a bit and that's the basic idea and then what I could do is I could grab that shift D and pull it down P to break it out and I'm going to take off the subdivision surface on that I bring it back up might scale it a little bit and E to extrude we'll start making the stand but hang on a second okay now take everything and bring it up let's with that so I'll bring it up quite a bit I'll take no, I'll take yeah okay so it's over here so let's take you get you back on stage buddy where you belong get all the pieces I think I'm gonna control G that let's get you back where you belong Uh huh, okay. Before we do that though, let's also get the clip and control G that. Mic. Okay. Okay, so now, how high do we want you to be?
I could go there. Let's try this. I make that thinner. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it actually down to the ground and see. I want to make some stuff bigger. Not necessarily though. Necessarily. See if I was to take this and this, and this, and this, and this, and just globally scale it. Yeah, I think I think we need to do that. I'm going to take, it didn't matter which one I took, I'm going to take that and bring it down to 50. And P to break it out. Take off the subdivision surface for now. Alright, I'm going to hit S to scale it. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a subdivision surface or not. I think I'm just going to fill this. Two. Select it all. E and come down. It's going to make something very simple. Um, no, I won't do that. Let's control B. Put one edge loop there. I wouldn't really need to do much more than that. And same with this, although I might need edge loops. And actually, I want to do something a little bit different with this than that. So, but for the moment, let's just take this, bring it up, and make it a bit bigger. Like that. Not that. It might be a bit too thick for what I want to do. Wireframes, okay. And uh, where do you need? There. That's gonna be fine for what I gotta do. Let's put this. So this this is bothering me. Uh, I do you maybe want? No, I don't want that thing. This scale ships hit. Maybe that. And also, I want to put a split in this. And then I'm going to have control B. E alt S. Okay, so funny stuff's going on. Let's first of all flip that and W, remove doubles. Yes, that's better. Do one of those there. Select that and bevel. One is fine. We'll obviously need some edge loops, and this one I'm going to make a little bit thinner actually here. So I'm going to shift alt and click there. Let's see how much I have to select on this to make it narrower. Okay, so scale shift Z is just a little bit thinner than the original one. So it looks like it goes in. Okay, now we'll do uh, some edge loops here. May not have needed one up there. Just simply that. Okay, hang on. Maybe that instead. And this one. Now, let's 
long piece and it probably needs it actually for support here and there. You know, that kind of thing. Taking this, this, and this, rotating it in the Y a little bit. Okay. Does that dig in? Okay, we're having some trouble viewing. Okay. Come on, get out of my way. Hide that. Select that. Zoom in. Oh, it looks okay. No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. Okay, and then now I'm going to select this and go back into median point. Cursor selected, and I'm going to bring in. I really think I could use cubes for this. It's going to be so small. Like little feet. Close, but from far. Um, I'm going to take this, kind of bring it up. I'm going to scale shift Z that, like that. And I'm going to that do this. This we're just gonna we'll take this in the axis and just gonna mess around with it. Just like that kind of a thing. I can switch over to normal. Take this and set the origin of geometry and my cursor there and my 3D cursor there. And I'm going to take this and I'll go back to global and I'm going to shift D. I'm going to rotate Z 120 and shift D rotate Z another 120 for a total of 360. Now I can adjust this a bit more. Just you as well. Let's see what's going on in here. Put you up to there. I just want you into there about.
hopefully those would be strong and wide enough to hold that microphone up I think you might be a little bit too tall now that I, I look at you and I think I'd be happier with it down a little bit select all the pieces now and now I'm the control G I'm going to select that control L materials and of course we missed that <laughs> 